assemble guests if you are able, please stand. Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Dame Cindy Kettle, Governor General of New Zealand. Kia please be seated. E ngā mana, e ngā reo, e ngā iwi o ngā hau e whā, tēnei aku mihi mahana ki a koutou, nau mai haramai ki te whare o te kāwana tianara kei tāma ki makaurau. Mā lule lei, whakalohi atu, tālofa lava, Ni Sambulovanaka, Ni Hau, Namaste. Kia ora, distinguished guests. It is my pleasure to welcome you all today to Government House for today's investiture ceremony. I'd like to specifically acknowledge Mr. Joe Harawira, our Komatua, and Ms. Puhiwahine Tibu, our Kuya. Hosting investiture ceremonies is one of the most important duties that I perform on behalf of His Majesty, the King of New Zealand. I'm delighted to bring together such an extraordinary group of New Zealanders. You have each brought pride and a greater sense of well-being to Aotearoa. Through your outstanding achievements and your service to our communities, on behalf of all New Zealanders, I extend my sincerest thanks to you for your contributions. After each recipient is honoured, I invite you to join with me in congratulating them. Mr Ward Carmel will now summon the recipients and read their citations. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Dr. Richard Wong Shi of Auckland for services to burn care. Well, Dr. Richard Wong Shi was the inaugural clinical leader of the New Zealand National Burn Service, which consists of the three regional burn units located at Christchurch Hospital, Hutt Hospital and Waikato Hospital, and the National Burn Centre at Middlemore Hospital, Auckland, where he was the clinical lead until February 2023. He is Chair of the Australian and New Zealand Burn Association Emergency Management of Severe Burns course. He has helped develop and deliver this course numerous times. He is active in training with the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons. He has presented papers on burn care internationally. He helped develop the National Health Emergency Response Plan for a mass casualty burn disaster. Dr Wong Shi was the lead burn surgeon following the 2019 Hokkari White Island volcanic eruption. Dr Richard Wong Shi, please come forward.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Dr. Howard Waring of Auckland, for services to entomology and the fruit and orchard industries. Dr. Howard Waring is an entomologist and pioneer of sustainable pest management in New Zealand's fruit and orchard industries. While working for the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research, DSIR, he researched innovative pest management techniques in apple orchards. He helped implement best practice modern apple production in New Zealand to minimise damage to fruit. His programme, Biological Orchard Production Systems, and the Associated Integrated Fruit Production Programme reduced insecticide use by 90% and led to an increase in fruit exports. He was a team leader of the Ecology and Horticultural Groups and then Assistant Director of DSIR's Entomology Division. He oversaw research that contributed significantly to government-funded science nationally. Dr Waring has published more than 150 scientific papers and the 2019 book Farewell, A Silent Spring, The New Zealand Apple Story. Dr. Howard Waring, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Ms Anne Dumphy of Auckland, for services to youth and education. Anne Dumphy trialled mentoring and guidance schemes at Pangaroa College and Penrose High School before helping to establish the Auckland Youth Mentoring Association, which became the Youth Mentoring Network. She now chairs the Youth Mentoring Network Charitable Trust, which delivers advice and services to providers running mentoring programs for young New Zealanders. She was pivotal in developing and publishing the Guide to Effective and Safe Practice in Youth Mentoring. She was a trustee of the Great Potentials Foundation, where she was project leader of the MATES Junior Mentoring and Tutoring Education Scheme. Ms Dunphy is a lecturer for the University of Auckland's School of Teaching, Learning and Development. Ms Anne Dunphy, please come forward. Ms. Tara Moala of Auckland for services to the community and environment. Tara Moala, Waikato Tainui, Ngati Mahanga Hodua, Ngati Hine, Ngati Pawa, 
Nga Wairiki, Nga Tiapa, Nga Rauru, founded Rākau Tautoko, which supports community development uh, practitioners to engage and empower communities through environmental and social projects. She takes on the role of tuakana and ensures all projects are for the community and remain within the community. She has helped create many environmental projects. As the Outcomes Manager with Tamaki Regeneration Company, she designed a system for repurposing old housing stock and built up local Māori and Pacific entities to create sustainable projects, products and services. Ms Moala established a food access programme during the COVID-19 pandemic for her community. Ms Tara Moala, please come forward. Mr. Malcolm Nicholson of Kawakawa for services to local government and the community. Well, Malcolm Nicholson was part of the Kawakawa Business Association, served on several community trusts and project managed the establishment of social housing for the Bay of Islands Cooperating Parish in Paihia. He was chief executive of the Northland Regional Council. He played a key role in the creation of Northland Inc., Northland's Economic Development and Regional Tourism Organisation, as well as flood control schemes, a water resilience fund, a kingfish farm and regional biosecurity plans. Mr Nicholson advanced unity and joint decision making through initiatives such as the Iwi and Local Government Chief Executives Forum and the establishment of two Māori seats on the Northland Regional Council. Mr. Malcolm Nicholson, please come forward. Your Excellency, and to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mrs. Venus Cherrington of Kaikohe for services to health in the community. Venus Cherrington, Ngati Farara Ngati Korokoro, is a rural nurse who has served her community through fundraising, helping at Marae, providing food at events, offering home care assistance, and providing care and comfort for those at the end of their life and support for Huano. She offers her time to people in her area to call her in an emergency, and she organises first aid updates in her local area. She has encouraged Māori nurses to become leaders and support nurses to enrol and register. Mrs. Sherrington helped provide groceries to families and prepared meals for distribution during the COVID-19 pandemic. Mrs. Venus Sherrington, please come forward.
Mr. Joseph Davis of Auckland for services to the Fijian community. Joseph Davis migrated to New Zealand in 1975. He helped establish Auckland's first Fijian radio station, serving as the first radio announcer. He helped coordinate community initiatives in honour of Vosafaka Fiti and, and Fijian Language Week. He is a member and former president of the Fiji Community Association of Auckland. Well, as a cultural advisor and mentor to the Songo Songo Ni Thakundrove as an organisation, he has aided families in ensuring traditions, values and customs are strengthened, providing them with resources and tools to continue at-home learning. Mr Davis has helped implement Fijian language workshops, camp programmes and school holiday programmes. Mr Joseph Davis, please come forward. Mr. Putiani Upoko of Auckland for Services to the Pacific Community. Putiani Upoko has been the session clerk of Otara Pacific Islands Presbyterian Church since 1980 and held several roles, including Cook Island Secretary and Choir Master. As an elder and church leader, he has instigated positive change and maintained unity within the church's Samoan, New Air, and Cook Island groups. During the COVID-19 lockdowns, he acted as the community's Cook Island representative, engaging with government officials. He has tutored and supported South Auckland students in preparation for the annual ASB Polyfest. Mr Upogo is a tutor of Imeni Tuki, a traditional screaming hymn of the Cook Islands at Tangaroa College. Mr Putiani Upogo, please come forward. Excellency, the investiture has concluded. New Zealand's honours system is our highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces those things that make our society better. Service, manakitanga, and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it has been a privilege to hear your stories. You have each used your talents and abilities to improve the lives of fellow New Zealanders. In doing so, you embody the spirit of the Whakatauki. Whaia te iti kahurangi ki te tu ohu koe mehe maunga teite. 
Seek the treasure that you value most dearly. If you bow your head, let it be to a lofty mountain. I urge recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity, knowing that you inspire others by your example. On behalf of the King of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you again for your service to our country. Kia ora, e hui hu mai tātou katoa. Now you will see on the back of your programme the words for the national anthem in Te Reo Māori and English. I now invite you to stand with me and join in singing the anthem. <laughs> 